Well, this, my friends, is a black walnut tree. Black walnut. Whoa. It's, these are the black walnuts. And here, over here, this is what the black walnut looks like with a husk on it. And this husk of this black walnut is such a mess, but it's great for staining things. You know, like if you wanted to stain some furniture or something. Inside of it is a nut, a black walnut, and they are so rich. Here's one, looks like a squirrel got it. See, this is the husk, and this little hard thing that's really hard to open up is the black walnut. They're so delicious. And when I lived in Michigan, we used to have a black walnut tree. I used to take these husks, I used to take these things, and I'll show you. Let's see if I can find a stone or a... Here's a stick. Let's see. See all that stuff in there? See that black part? Right there. Right here, under all this, is a shell. See, if you can use this outer husk for dying things. Ooh, look at there's some wormies in there. See, those worms are trying to eat it. See the little wormies in there? But this, once you get through there and you get to that black walnut, you find such a delicious, delicious piece of meat. And the black walnut's used for many things. Native Americans use it for dyeing their clothes, for, man, if I had some, they weren't so dirty. I'd take a handful home, I'd take them back to Florida, and I'd work on one of my tables, and I'd just darken that a beautiful black walnut color. Anyway, this is the black walnut tree, and I'm out here in the woods in Georgia, walking around, just pulling in nature, sucking up the chi. It's Dr. Wu. Keep on practicing.